Now I look at him and I'm like, my boys, our, our boy is smart. Mm. Like numbers, I didn't even know there was a quillion. Quintillion. Quintillion. <laughs> there, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> for like as they just said, they evolve for the rest of our lives. Kieran is going to be teaching us music. Yeah. I remember doing this to my mom where she would say something. I'd be like, yeah, no, you know, that's, that's not, not it. It's tell her. Even so colors, he now she knows. would call me and say this thing. Wait till you start doing homework, you don't understand. Baba, I can you, will now, you will now be forming um, <laughs> my glasses are not clean again. Uh uh-uh. uh. You give me a minute, me have a call. Did you help me now? Just homework. <laughs> Wait, disgrace me. I think you remember so, something like that. Yeah, so, as I was saying. Not only has screen time helped him with his numbers, his alphabet, because we had how we trained him with alphabets was saying A B C D E. That's how we learned. Mm-hmm. But now that's not how they do at school. Well, phonics, yeah. right? Phonics. Yeah. So yeah. phonics, he learned that online mm-hmm. on his tab. He learned, he learned how to say oh, way, numbers. He's reading. I remember, just remember I, was, I told you I was worried about that. Yeah, but he, I, I could see that he was reading. Like the last time when we were I was the last numbers, person to find reading. out that Kion could read. That's so he was cool. reading. He was reading. So, he yeah. was before me. No, because like we were, we were on the TV and then we were, we were jumping, we were dancing and vibing to numbers. And I could see that he was reading those numbers. No, I don't mean... I know he can cite like, numbers, but he was reading them. Just, I'm saying your boy can read text like uh, words. Yeah. yeah. Because that's that, that why they teach them phonics. Them yeah. was, was the phonics good. helps them to okay. But well, that's that's actually nah. good. Very, very good. Yeah, it's very good. good. At his oh, age, yeah. so anyway. that and also Spanish. He got how to say one to twenty. I'm so proud of him. That's so what every episode I get, I can say it. Okay. He <laughs> says one to twenty in Spanish, and he did not learn it from me. Clearly, they, they don't do Spanish in their school, so he learned it from his his uh, tab. tab. Then what else? Numbers. Well, this boy is downloading games, Sha. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's that's one point. But you see, that's there's something that you said. Um, I get to that. So, children can learn a lot from a from a wide variety of sources, and you know, the people who make these um programs and games are super smart. Like they know what they're doing. They know how to child you know, psychology, they know, they know colors, what sounds, children. So, high, high frequency yeah. of time. But they also there's, there's also something. There's another element to the whole thing, which is retaining. Retaining what is learned, like you know, and um, making sure that you know you screen out what you don't want them to learn or what you don't want them to see. Sorry, yeah. What happened to you? So I was I was, I was drinking water, and then I was like, oh, I think I need some sugar in my system, and then I drink some of your juice, and it's like it's like ju water, like ju water, it's ju water, like there's <laughs> barely any. Dips. That's that's it was so disappointing. Okay. <laughs> like yes, my expectations were so high. Sorry, you come back. Carry on. I'm sorry. So no, so the, the, you know, going back to um that the question around Coco Melon and some of the stimulating shows, I, I remember then I don't you know because sometimes you you're careful about names because you don't want somebody to yeah, wake up and start saying sweet. something mm-hmm. later on in the future. But I remember this cartoon that like from one one point or one idea. To the next idea it was like I don't know if they were counting the milliseconds or I don't know like it was just it was so seconds fast. you know how Tom and Jerry the idea builds mm-hmm. so like mm-hmm. you are saying it and it's progressing right but this one's like you are here in one minute and then the, the next minute mm, the next minute is like a completely different thing yeah. and then you can't even process that and then and then it wasn't you know I, w- I wasn't surprised to see that there were studies that were showing that that um, show was affecting processing, was affecting children and the way they were processing mm-hmm. things. Like, it just was not a good show. But it's still, it's still running. Yeah. Like, yeah. People, people still watch the yeah. show. So, like, with Coco Melon, first, my first thing, like, and it's not just Coco Melon, there are a couple of shows oh. just like that, too. That they come off as very loud, oh. very vibrant. Yeah, because those, and those, any child that's hearing that, those sounds will immediately yeah. be, like, drawn to the sounds. Mm-hmm. But what are they learning next? Yeah. And what is happening inside? There's that, the overstimulation is a thing. There are children who watch shows and they can't sleep because they yeah. have to process yes. the shows. Yes. And then you find that parents will be telling you that this child is telling me, like he's like, they are recounting what they when learned they when they should be sleeping. Like they wake up and they keep going over the show over mm-hmm. and over again. I, I'm like, these are issues. Um, and yeah, those are actually things that you know 
work against or our scores yeah. against you know the screen time thing but the important thing and it's very good to know that and then that's you know what you're seeing with keon and what we saw with um shato and the face that there it is a rich source of knowledge like there's so much they can well, absolutely learn. there's just so much they can learn there are there's a space of learning like having the knowledge about facts mm. like science facts art facts experimental stuff all that And then this place of morals and guidance mm. right and wrong social those type cues. of things social cues and and there's a place where you engage so you they're watching something mm. you watch mm. with them mm. then you pause and you ask them like so what does this mean right. or what does what's it saying to you and sometimes you can be watching a show but, but maybe you're just all learning like you've not watched the show before and you're watching with child i remember one time like um what's it called shaitan was watching a show and i could hear what they were saying and the person said something like the character said something and i said eh <laughs> i said eh i paused it i said shaitan i hope you know that you can never <laughs> that true. never like in fact after it didn't take long before she told her she was watching the show and that show has been flagged by the uh, way like yeah. didn't, it was like it took some time before they flagged the show but when i was surprised that it took that long they flagged it because i'm like why are you teaching kids why are you teaching them to say to their dad it's like there are no boundaries then they can yeah. say different things to different because people because again the right things. is that the show producers or creators mm-hmm. don't share your values they don't fair so don't. it's That's a true. global audience you have so it goes back to then your value system which is why i said earlier that our job really is the framework screen time is here to stay mm-hmm. so there's elements of the impact even as adults tell us don't, if you're trying to get better sleep yeah your sleep pattern sleep your cycles phone turn, off. Yeah. turn off your phone Switch put the lights even your phones have the dark mode right mm-hmm. for yeah. mm-hmm. so all those things are already there because it starts to show the impact on your brain and all those things as adults so yeah. imagine kids who are born into this mm-hmm. of course i don't think it's been enough time to see the long term impact mm-hmm. which hopefully would not be too bad but ultimately mm-hmm. we need to be clear yeah. mm-hmm. that there are positives mm-hmm. and negatives and a framework is always True. so Maximizing knowing that your values your the health like that posture mm. um impact of the eyes because you don't want to spend money on With eye issues yeah. so early right mm-hmm. postural correction even some shows talk about or oh, people have complained about speech development so in case also want to talk and make all those sounds and i'm like mm-hmm. half an hour yeah. mm-hmm. so there are things that calls for us to be conscious and also engage exactly to engage. engage i would yeah. also like to mention to people watching and the viewers listening that um there are ways to help your kids like for us now even on my phone Kim, if he if he, sometimes he just drops his laptop and his tab and he wants to take my phone i have restriction so there's a way that you have the parental um control that you yeah. can make sure your your child does not go um Scrolling to certain t- um apps and yeah. stuff yeah so we d- i did that we did that for his tab we did that for my phone his father's phone whenever he goes on youtube so you can help then also dim the light to help with the yeah so uh, on that point as well so one of the rules is not to use other people's devices oh yeah yes. so you can't use some uncle auntie mm-hmm. nanny's mm-hmm. devices mm-hmm. Right. because i don't know what is well, on there yeah because mm-hmm. we are always concerned about exposure mm mm-hmm. Because not every adult is as, as responsible as you Fair. has the same. Because Value. before you know, you're talking about YouTube or YouTube kids. Mm-hmm. What about pictures, the galleries, right? Mm. People do all sorts. My videos. So the rule is to not take any. So, you, can, you can't tell yeah. you go to a birthday party and, then you're, and you're crying mm. because your friend has his a screen or a phone mm. and you want to and take you want it. To take it. No. Excuse me. No. Or the other, to be, the other one of searching searching for somebody else's. Yeah, device, you can't right? do that. So it's yeah. again very clear instruction that has to be embedded um, because mm-hmm. nobody parents the same way you parents mm-hmm. every adults knows to be responsible mm-hmm. every adult has a child around them mm-hmm. so it's one of the things like i said framework key, key. Uh, yeah. you cannot you can't um, use other people's mm-hmm. devices so if I, if i allow you to do screen time it has to be within my control so that our tv our tab or your tab not anybody or i must vet who, who you're i'm comfortable allowing them give you your your phone to play a game or I think this is my takeaway from this episode. This is this is the thing that I've learned from this episode that I needed to learn. Um can I say something? Yes, 
So I have this question to ask our elders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm young, go please, please, Those please, 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 yes. please, 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 please Come upstairs, like if he knows that I'm, he'll come upstairs to the bedroom and come to see what I'm watching, and then uh, on YouTube. I want for YouTube. Music. I want. I want. Like he wants to watch a show on YouTube, kids. Basically, he wants all the screens that are within reach. Different. No, our boy so is a tech bro. Do you know he did that? I don't know if I said this before. Where he started to link his tab. To the TV. To the TV. <laughs> so if you're watching something else, he'll just cast, cast. it. Cast. So that whatever is playing his time. So, so everybody must watch what he's watching. That's a boss. And I'm like, Oga. That's the Oga of the I house. think I'm going to start doing what you're doing. <laughs> Please, let me know how much you paid for this item. <laughs> or for the internet. Because but at, now we've gotten to the stage where, because he's, you know, older, his, you know, communication is getting easier and mm -hmm. easier. So I've now been able to let him know that you cannot have more than one device mm -hmm. um, at, at a time. Yeah. And you cannot always demand correct, correct that you want to watch Correct, something. correct. If you want Dada's phone or you want Mama's phone, if Dada is using his phone, he can have it. you cannot have it. Mm -hmm. If Dada <laughs> is on the phone, you cannot come and ask Dada to talk about, mm -mm. let me finish, then I will talk to you. Correct. Um, but it's hard. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's difficult because... <laughs> I guess the reality is that we still have to parent, right? Yeah. yeah. There, there are teaching moments. There's elements of sharing, for example. Mm. You can't always get what, what, you, what want. you want. So my kids, I threatened them the other day. <laughs> and so... <laughs> she got it. So, my, so I, I was doing school. I was coming <laughs> from school. We were being from school about that the other day. And they saw one of their friends' cars at a... Popular age, age, yeah. age, ah, right? come on. And they're like, ah, oh, they want to go that their mom yeah. takes them there. After I'm like, guess who I am? <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not your mom. <laughs> I'm like, kids, we're going home. There's food at home. That's the client, right? But there's food at home. <laughs> there is food oh at home. God. We have become our parents. And I have a meeting, right? So I'm timed. Yeah. And they go, Oh, I never take them to a tree or to the yeah. mall. They don't. Emotional blackmail. <laughs> Let me introduce myself to you again. Damages. So I'm like, hey. Yeah, and I, 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 I go, okay, that's one. So you want to go out. So yeah, you want to go somewhere. That's beautiful. So when we get home, I'm going to pack a bag. I will take you to Makoko. I will exchange you with two other children. You will come and live your life for the you weekend. Trip. You trip. Oh, the tears. No, I don't want you to go out. Too. You want to go out. <laughs> You're going to go. What, what, what about my homework? You would do your homework there with the mosquitoes dancing around you <laughs> under a bulb somewhere on dirty oh water. You would appreciate <laughs> the life that, that you live. <laughs> oh, it's hot. I want the AC on. Oh, wow. I love how you pay the bills in this house. So you want to go out? You will go out. Oh, you tears followed. I don't want to go. You will go out. <laughs> you want to go out? Abby. I didn't want to get home, Abby. Oh, we went home. She yeah. cried for about an hour. But no, I mean... Getting home means you're going to pack your bag. Yeah, so, of course, <laughs> there was an element where so I had, again, with a teaching moment to say, do you know what? That's great. But you have to appreciate what you have. And it's a, that's, a, that's a lesson or a teaching that never ends. Like, mm. it, you, you, there are not many yeah. children that grab it, like, you know, instantly or yeah. even in months. Yeah. You keep teaching it because at some point in time they're going to be like well this person has this and you know even for us like growing up many times we have to catch ourselves mm -hmm. like like when we're about to be like mm -hmm. oh, like with what you have mm -hmm. you know so for them it's even more acute like oh but this person has this and this person has that why can't i get this why can't i get that and it's like hmm because ultimately we're talking about screen time because yeah. we're bougie mm -hmm. we are bougie talking sure. about screen time if you when you put because it because like you must have this yeah. screen the device that costs how many electricity, hundreds of yeah. thousands of naira electricity. have power you have internet, internet. Fast. internet. there are kids internet. that don't have homes or right. food or running water yeah so there is a demographic that would never have this problem of screen yeah. time because they're thinking about how to survive yeah right so it's always important to be clear that this is not how life mm. is 
This is this is, is this it's is not good for good times. But what if you find yourself in a different situation? How do you then can adapt? you cope? Can you survive? So that's kind of how adapt? we try to balance as well. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me take you back to um, screen time. So you mentioned that at a certain age, you stop um, them from watching TV, like Shaitan and Ife, watching mm. t- during the week. So what do you keep to? What do you do to keep them active to replace the screen time? For me, I know I have. It's, I'll tell Kion, come, let's create something to that because mm. I know that he loves numbers. So mm. I'll cut, we did a video where we had to cut out cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's, together, yeah. Write numbers, mm. paint. So what do you guys do? Okay, so, um, she, um, Shaitan had to cut if I grew into it. So, like, it was already oh, like right, a thing right, before yeah. if I came. So, like, for the weekdays, they're pretty much occupied. Like, you wake school. up in the morning, you're going to school, you come back. When you come back, like almost four o'clock, you're back. And then you have to eat your lunch, you have to do your homework. And then after doing homework, it's more or less like, okay, oops, dinner time is almost mm. near. Or maybe if they have enough time on their hands, they're like, I don't know what to do. Go and read your book, mm-hmm. as my mother would say. Mm. Go and read your book. <laughs> okay, mommy, I've read my book. Okay, go and play outside. You know, just finding other things for them to do. And then sometimes, yes, Ever so often, there might be the craft or something that mm-hmm. um, maybe Just they paper, want to do. Yeah, go and I'll and give them paper yeah. and task them. Tell them, okay, you know what? You color this and you color that. And they are, thankfully, there are a lot of printables. Yes. There are yes, lots of printables online. There are a lot of activity books and stuff like that. Now, not everybody, not every, it's not every single child's cup of tea, but you can start them on that journey. And they want to give them crayons and I give them sheets of paper. And I tell them the world is your oyster. They are very happy. They'll just start doing whatever. And then they'll bring it to me. Sometimes it's a card. Sometimes it's... But at least some time has gone. They've been engaged on that level. So it's, it's kind of like finding what... Just like you, you're doing with Keon. It's just like finding what they really enjoy, en- enjoy mm-hmm. and can engage with. Apart from running outside... Right now, it's always a good thing. But then when they are indoors and you're stuck indoors, and then they do some other interesting things. Like, and they, of course, that takes, it, it, it's, it's, they, you know, they come for my time, but it's okay. Like, mom, we want to do, want to have a, what they call a camp indoors, you know, grab out yeah, chairs, it's create it's camp. It's so they do all those kind of things. And then they carry like something and they are maybe um, playing, maybe playing or reading something, but at least for that period mm. of time, I can get them to say, it's dark, try and get some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, but just, you know. Uh, uh, but, yeah. Yeah. I'm, going say, I'm going back to board games as well, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Because yeah, she likes board, board games. games. So, yeah. of course, let's play Ludo, <laughs> let's do this. I'm like, okay. Snakes and Just two us. games. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back to work. But at least, again, like I said, working from home has helped me see things differently, right? And that's, Bond, right, is formed Building. outside screen time. Well, mm-hmm. this can be, yeah, but again, it just takes time. So I understand yeah. that it's easier said than done a lot of times because again, we are all hustling for one thing or the other. So time is really the constraint. So at least the point is to be conscious mm-hmm. and to try mm-hmm. as best as one no can. can within the yeah yeah. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, do we want to ask them this? No, you did no. that one. You said no. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. no, no, no. Much, yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, what do you call it? I also I, there's this thing that I I I am trying to do, mm-hmm. and it's this one just doesn't she just she doesn't rate it. I said that it's your kill girl. Just come and say. Just be like, oh, mommy. It's not how many. Yes. It's how much, how much? time. You know, it's like, so funny that then Kion calls us. <laughs> when you say, Daddy, Daddy, Mommy, I say, mm-mm. Mm-mm. So she's not ready to mama. let go. Call me Mama. Because <laughs> Daddy makes him sound so much. That like he has grown. Yeah, it now <laughs> hits, it now hits her more clearly than I'm, her. I'm serious. I'm very <laughs> sure when I'm like, they just, they just <laughs> say, say what you want to say. <laughs> what do you want to say? Say it. Say it again. Where your paper is school school fees? It's as he has grown. Paper is school school fees that they just have to pay for it. Ah. It is. It's actually, at that point, actually, when he, so when he was in nursery two, right? So the Final year of nursery school. <laughs> first, so I remember his third term. Let's do pickups a lot, right? And the teacher kept on saying that this young man has changed. Because he was on track to being 
best okay. behaved student <laughs> for the year. Yeah. And she's like, he's making her rethink. Because wow. term one, term two, quiet, very focused, very yeah, observant. Oh, but the third shy. term, he decided to just oh, call out. everybody's bluff and do what he wants I'm to do. I'm going to show you who I really is. Well, me, I have, I have like, a, I have an explanation. And it may not be mm-hmm. the entire thing, but you know, I keep saying it that I felt like there was something else going on apart from him just finding his voice, mm-hmm. as they say. Um, and it was held. I felt. I felt there was also a part of it that was held really dead, mm-hmm. and then kind of found out that yes, there was something going on. But he's fine. He's fine. Only okay. the doctor. Okay. No. Because my mom was like, "Sorry, yeah. what's fine. going on?" No, but was, at this point, it was like they kept saying they would call him, and he wasn't answering them. Right. And then I was like. At the point, like I sat with him, I was like, "If I, what's going on? Like, they're calling you, you're not answering." And I also realized that he was doing the same thing At to home. me. So, so I think, like, think he was being rude, right? Yeah, so it was I an allergy, had an allergic reaction. Yeah, I called him. So, so he was. I think was it was very important point. So yeah, that observation was important because we think why he was being rude or being naughty, yeah. but he was actually having allergies that he was just sensitive to dust or whatever. So it just cost. And then he, yeah, that's the medication and they, it's fine. Yeah. Like, I can imagine. He's hearing yeah. also. Oh, yeah, because of the allergic reaction. So again. No, please explain for that because some people might not know about it. What do you mean? Okay, so um, when I spoke with him, because, and he's that kind of person that if he, after a while, he will say what's on his mind. Mm-hmm. So he said to me, I couldn't hear them. So I was like, when he said that, the thing hit me. Like, it hit me hard. And I was like, coach, okay. Okay. And he had been back and forth with a couple of things. I noticed that he was having some mouth ulcers and I was like, this thing is, you know, it was really disturbing and kept finding out that there were some things that were causing those. And then he started snoring like for, you know, on and it wasn't on and off, it was persistently. And I was like, okay, so he's snoring and then this is coming up. It might be, it might be you know, be connected. Mm-hmm. So I didn't want to see him myself because like, right, you know. I'm, I'm a mommy at this point. This was being a mommy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> at, at this point, like when it comes to this, I didn't want to be the one to, so I took him to um, see the okay. ENT. And uh, they, they did their checks. I already kind of knew that there were some things we were going to find, but what was like the, um, what's it called? What was like the curveball was when they did the hearing assessment and persistently you were getting subnormal recordings. Oh. And they, they said to me, okay, that, yeah, he probably has some fluid behind his ears and um, in one ear it's mild and another ear it's not mild. So um, let's treat and treat. And so he's been on and he's much better, like he's mm-hmm. much better now. At least he doesn't do that thing of, Calling him and him not answering. No, that's not that. So, yeah, so whatever was swelling was impacting that. So yes. it was an allergic reaction to allergies. Allergies, yeah. Allergies. So and it's just information. Yeah. Else, yeah. And observation, 20, right? Five years ago, he would be getting spanked. Yep. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. just think, ah, this one he wants to spoil. Yeah, just he wants to be naughty. Child. He wants to be. Mm-hmm. But it was actually not his fault. He was just allergic to something and it caused that reaction. That whole. I guess. For, you know, uh, mommy being a doctor helps, right? Yeah. yeah. What was he allergic to? No, well, um, they mostly were environmental. Uh, and it was mostly, mostly environmental. Allergies. Yeah. Like his mommy. I also have allergies. Like he does. Yeah, so. Keon, I, you know, I called you the other yeah. time. I told you that yeah. he's been sneezing and rubbing his eyes and his nose. Yeah. So, yeah. So I was like, his own, I guess he just entered a different point because it was now affecting his sleep breathing. Like he wasn't breathing well at uh, asleep. That's why I was snoring. Mm. Oh, he's fine. He's actually thank goodness. Fine now. Thank God. For that. Thank God. <laughs> oh wow, that's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. So we have come to the end of this episode. Tosi and Deji, it's mm. always, always a pleasure having you guys on board. But as usual, <laughs> you guys know what happens at the end. Jeez. Are you ready? No. <laughs> yes, you are. You see that shade that you threw at us? Coming back. Don't you have friends? Mm. This is us getting back at you. Hello, friend. <laughs> Hello, friend. <laughs> so, here's what's going to happen. We are going to show you something. It's like a lyric, right? Mm-hmm. You you have to... So you have to. You can't sing it. Can't sing. Can't sing it. You have to. 
You have to say it. Say it. Like, to, read it. To toast to him. Right. Well, here's the caveat. In pigeon English. And it's you to in that. In pigeon English. And you so cannot so laugh. Ah. So the challenge for you is to get it. Get her to word, laugh. Word for word in pigeon. And get her to laugh. Without changing. That's the cool <laughs> <laughs> You cannot touch her. You cannot. No you just with your words. Ah, you and your disgrace me. Your expressive face. I push you. And the, then you. The ones yeah. that were giving to you that you are switching to pigeon. You know? Yeah, you have to switch. It's not switch really, it. We are giving not really right. Okay. That you do in pigeon to her and toast her. See, she must not laugh. Uh, but to see your job is to make her laugh. But your job is not to laugh. And he has one. He has one. Ah, we know. We know. Here you go. I can smell. No, straight uh, uh, face. No, I don't have straight face. You know now, now. It's Trisha. What? What you have to um, try? Ah. <laughs> I don't need to say the title, right? <laughs> no, don't say the title. Just start. Just start the. Don't face up. Don't finish this. <laughs> Wait, does it open with my hair? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Fem's not picking. Fem's not picking. You know what? Fem's not picking. No talk at all. Ah. <laughs> my guess. Is... <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, you you put make me laugh. Wait, you put make me laugh. Eh, sorry. Papa Gonna, ah. <laughs> your daddy, oh, <laughs> Gonna buy you a wish, a wish, a wish. Is that wish? Wish not the same. I will keep this straight. Why people are going to make me laugh? It's so hard. I didn't know what I'm saying. Because I've just not Raz, but anyways, uh, 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 I don't know what to say. Um, you don't know English. Now, Pigeon is about to go speak. No, come on, no. Ah, Femme, no, fem oh baby, Femme, oh baby. <laughs> it's hard now. It's okay. Hush, little baby. It's okay. Pigeon. You know, the title, the title is Hush, little baby. In Pigeon. In Pigeon. What would I say? You've tried. Femme. You know, I did not get this. It's hard. It. He's getting it. He said, "Fem, you guys know. He said, "Fem, fem, What's mocking bed in pigeon? What's mocking bed? Why do you put mocking bed? I said, "Wait, she, 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 no, no, forget it's not did you try. In pigeon? I was laughing also. Laughing in, yeah. Look, he was his girl. Yes, he was girl. 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 Trust him, yeah. If he, I wouldn't laugh at what he was saying. Yeah. I would laugh because he was laughing. Not what he was working with. Yeah. Yeah. It's because of it now. Uh, I had to bring good. all the strategies because well, this thing is hard. No, is it fem? No, it's hard. He said fem, I just died. I just died. What? But you know it. Because I, I looked at it before she gave it to you, and it, I was it's like, "It's hard." It was harsh. <laughs> like, <laughs> talk like. Did you have problem? Are you okay? Did he die in the background? He will be dead. I'm trying to make it. I said, "Remember, I'm thinking, how Baba wants to say hush." What? I said, "Well, that's his cross. You can't hear it." No, no, no. You tried, though. It's fair. It's me. It's pro in PG. Yeah, yes, it's true. Femme, mm -hmm. Like quiet. No, Femme is shut up. Like quiet. Hush. Quiet. Hush is quiet. Though. Quiet. No, no, no for Femme, Femme was in the best. Yeah, there's nothing again you could have said. I was going to say that Femme. Femme was perfect. And I made they said I do shh. But I'm sure that I'm sure in the comments. I'm sure in the comments, people will come and educate us. Yes. On the first stanza of 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 Hush baby. You know, um, you know, don't you care? Anyway, um, don't you have something to tell fathers? Are you not doing that? Yes, fast, dear dad. If you have a baby girl and she goes to mommy for dress up or comes to you for cuddles while she's there, throw in a little bit of you know, color matching and all of that because you cannot always, there, there won't always be a situation where mommy will always be there to play dress up. So when she has only you, at least let's have something to look forward to. Aww. This brings me to that joke alert! <laughs> <coughs>
babe. Yes. What is I'm the sorry. avocado's favorite workout? Avocado. Oh, it doesn't God. get. It doesn't laugh. Oh, no. you know, no, I, like, I, like I don't know this guy. When they wanted you to laugh, like, you did not laugh. Oh. I'm like, 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 my name is Brian Suleiman. This is Linda Ijofo Suleiman. And these two people here, the fine one is Tosin Amon. That guy. <laughs> See, he quickly held me so that the so fine Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget that, that, that the fine nest. Instagram um, handle, the, the mobile, 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 mobile yeah, yeah, yeah. Please follow and, and tell your friends about it and tell your friends. Then, please, Make sure you watch, subscribe, please. For those who just first timers, subscribe and go back share. and watch everything from season one. You would yes. love it, I promise. Being binge, binge watch. Binge watch. Get to see yes. us again <laughs> twice. Um, follow us on Instagram. Um, we are Dual Parenting Pod on all across all platforms: mm-hmm. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, yeah. We'll see you next time. Sure, we don't have threads. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> see, that's why you're here. Welcome to Neil's Wedding Pond.